Morning campers and welcome to another exciting episode. So when we last left our monolith project we had pretty much stripped off the frame and we were just left with the three modules sitting on top of each other. So been giving this a bit of thought as to where I wanted to be with uh, some of these projects <clears throat> and I guess one of the things that I really do want to do is to see how this Siemens AC drivetrain that we have actually works just to get a feel for it and just generally to uh, just for my own self to know uh, how it's going to work out. So as part of the reason that we have the uh, better place battery because it's a high voltage battery and our Siemens um, AC drive system uh, whether I end up using the controller I'm building at the minute or the DMOC pretty much need high voltage uh, so our battery here can pretty much give us that 360 volts uh, that we require for that particular system. The pod on my nose is all caught up here from hay fever. Anyhow, obviously I'm very keen also to learn a bit about this cell technology that we have here. These are not lithium iron phosphate cells, uh, they're lithium manganese oxide. Uh, so they're going to have a completely different charge and uh, discharge characteristic. So, got a bit of learning to do there. Now, <clears throat> unfortunately, I also have to work for a living and have other commitments. So, I don't really have the time this year to take on a full EV build based upon um, our Siemens motor and this particular battery. So what I'm trying to do here is to sneak up on it. So the plan is, first of all, to transplant this complete battery, and I'll run through the few modifications that I've made to the frame on it, is to transplant this complete battery into our E36 compact. Now, that's currently running a uh, pack of um, headway, 16 amp hour cylindrical cells, and indeed if you've been following some of the video series, you'll have seen how I evolved that particular car and how that battery worked out for me. I'm not going to rehash that stuff now. In any event, um, bottom line is it's quite a small capacity battery and it gives the car a very short range. So what we would like to do would be to kill two birds here uh, by getting to know these cells and um, hopefully then in increase the range on the E36 compact. So <clears throat> how do we achieve that? Well. We can't simply run the full series string of cells into the DC drivetrain that we have in that car at the minute because it will just blow it. But what we can do is, I'll just get the camera set up a little bit better here. What we can do is if we have a look at our pack, we see that we have our tree rows of 16 modules. Sorry, I got the hay fever coming on here. Excuse me. <clears throat> so, we've our three rows of 16 modules. And each row gives approximately 125 volts DC. Now, we could simply come along and use half of that. We could use a, fu a full row and then half of a second row uh, to give ourselves about 180 volts, which would be uh, which should be which should which should work quite well with our system presently. 
Um, but that would mean then that we would only be using half the pack. Also we have a 500 amp controller in the uh, car which you know might put a little bit more strain than I'd like on a single uh, run of, of these cells. So what I'm aiming for is once we have this pack trans transplanted into the car we will run it um, as two packs um, in parallel. So we'll have this row and half of this row in parallel with this this with this, with this row and the other half of the centre row. So that should nominally give us about 180 DC and twice the capacity. So whatever that works out at 120, 125 amp hours. So that will enable us to use the full battery, get to know it and uh, get it all balanced up um, and see what our performance is like and as I say just generally get to know this particular type of cell with not a lot of uh, effort involved just basically doing a, a battery swap which we will be going through today hopefully. Now <clears throat> further on down the line then we need to look at our uh, let me see here we need to look at our Siemens motor and drivetrain. So ultimately we, we want to get this baby fired up, um, ideally with the, um, with the inverter uh, that I've been working on there some weeks ago and get that transplanted into a car. Uh, what I'm thinking again, the simplest way to get a feel for all of uh, this stuff will be to just couple this motor up uh, to a spare E36 gearbox and pop them into the compact. And the beauty of that then is that we can come back to our battery and we simply rewire it then so it's the, instead of being the two parallel connected half packs we just hold thing in series and where we've got our high voltage for where we need to be uh, with our um, with our AC system